Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So today I'm finally getting around to playing with the absolutely beautiful new Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette. Now I've been waiting on this palette for the longest time and when it finally got released in the UK I could not wait to get my hands on it. I was such a huge fan of the original rose gold, te rose gold textured palette so. so let's just have a quick look at the palette. So the packaging on this palette I am obsessed with. It's just so pretty, so chic. Got like that nice reflective foil thing on it as well and of course who desires then when we open mine's a bit of a mess because i've used it a couple times we've got the plastic inserts got who desires but then the most important part is the beautiful colors just look at that i love this palette if you were to ask me to make my own palette or what my dream eyeshadow palette would be it'd be pretty close to this it's got glitters it's got gorgeous matte some gorgeous duo chromes, lovely shimmers, everything. It's just a beautiful palette and I do love the fact that this one also has a mirror in the top and then the little Huda logo there. I think it just adds, makes it feel a bit more heavy duty. It'd be perfect for travelling in as well if you haven't got like your little makeup mirror with you this will be perfect but yeah so i've gone in with the colors i'm going to do some swatches for you as well but i just think this palette is absolutely amazing you can create so many different looks with it you can do warm toned cool toned you've got gold purples blue brown and you've also got this glitter here this is cosmo and this is just the prettiest glitter shade i've got under my eyes here but i just think this palette is so diverse in what you can do with it the different looks you can create and I do look forward to creating a few different looks with this palette. First of all, I've created this look today. So it's sort of a warm toned, orangey, pinky coloured with a nice little half cup crease and a bit of glitter thrown in there. So first of all, I'll show you some swatches of the palette of each row. And then if you want to see how I achieved this look today, then stay tuned. Okay, so this is the top row, starting from the left, we've got Desert Sand, which is quite pale on my skin tone. Then we've got Musk, Eden, Amber, Blood Moon, and then Oud, or O-U-D. And then on the second row, we've got Celestial, Nefertiti, Twilight, Amethyst, Royal, and then Retrograde, that lovely blue-brown on the very end there. And then for the bottom row, we've got Cashmere, Angelic, Cosmo, Turkish Delight, Saffron and Blazing. So I'm just going straight in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the shade Chocolate. I'm just creating some hair stroke style lines at the front of the brow and then going in with creating that sharp line underneath, that sharp defined line underneath the brow. Then I'm just going back in and creating the same line just on the top of the brow, just to create that nice defined eyebrow shape. Then I'm just filling through the brow and then once I get to the front of the brow, I'm just lightly brushing up with no excess product on my eyebrow, on my brush, sorry, just to create that sort of ombre effect. Then I'm just setting them in place with my Maybelline Fiber Filler in the shade Deep Brown. Then for eye primer today, I'm using the MAC Select Cover Up in the shade NW15. So just plonking that down all over the lid and then carving out the eyebrow, being ever so careful with that, not to mess it all up as usual. So then I'm just blending out the edges using my Zoeva Concealer Buffer Brush and then going in and patting down the concealer, setting it down, ready for the eyeshadows. And I'm going to put a bit of brow bone and inner corner highlight using this NUA Skin Shimmer in Iridescent Gold just to add a little something to it. Now I'm actually going in with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Dark as my transition shade today. 
because one thing I think this palette lacks for me is one of those sort of brownie transition shades. It's obviously got the gorgeous pinky and orangey ones, but I just wanted like a nice sort of light brown sort of transition shade, so I decided to go in with this shade first. So dipping into the palette now, the first shade I'm going to take is Blazing from the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette which is this gorgeous orange tone and I'm just going to focus that closer to the crease line, just sort of blobbing it on and then blending it out lightly using this Zoeva brush, I can't remember the exact name of the brush, but then I'm going back in with my Morphe brush and my Mineralized Skin Finish just to blend it out and making sure I don't lose any of that previous colour. Then I'm just going in with the shade Amber just to again deepen up the crease and I'm just patting that on the outer third of my eye and then running that up through the crease just to deepen it up slightly. And again going back in with the previous brush with blazing on just so I don't lose any of that colour. Now I'm going in with the shade is Oud or O-U-D, I'm not 100% certain how to pronounce that. But again, just patting that on the outer third and then running that up through the crease. And then again, taking the same brush with blazing on and just blending that out, making sure I don't lose any of that colour. And then I'm going back in with my first brush that had the MAC skin Mineralized Skin Finish just to bring that back. Now I'm just cutting my crease using this little concealer brush from UKMUA and I'm just cutting with the MAC Select Cover Up today. I'm not being very gracious with this at all but it comes together nice in the end. So I'm just carving out the crease and then patting that concealer across the eyelid. Then I'm just going to take a touch of blazing again and just blend out that edge before I set down any colour just to make sure it's all blended smoothly. Then the first shimmer shade I'm going to take is this gorgeous duochrome celestial, it's sort of like a goldy pink duochrome, it looks completely gold in the palette but the second it goes on the eye it's pretty pink. And then just to go over top of that I'm going to take Nefertiti which is this absolutely stunning goldy shimmer shade. And then I'm just priming my under eye using MAC Select Cover Up again. I'm ready to take all the matte shades we've already used. Again, just blending out the edges so there's no harsh lines when we come to foundation. So just on this short smudger brush, I'm going to take start with blazing and then blend that out using my Morphe brush that had the skin finish on. Then I'm taking a mixture of amber and oud and just deepening up that lower lash line again. And then I'm actually going to go in with my Tatty Lashes. These are in the style TL4 today. These are just these gorgeous, wispy, quite naturally looking lashes, which I thought went perfect with this look. And now I'm going to go in with a touch of Cosmo, which is the one glitter shade in the palette. So I'm just dipping my brush in my Ben Nye Glitter Glue and then just placing that glitter just on the sort of inner corner of my... Okay, so now it's time for the face. So for foundation, I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Born This Way foundation, which as we all know is my new Holy Grail foundation. So I'm just painting that on using my Real Techniques brush, being very careful around the eyebrows. And then I'm just going to blend that out using my Beauty Blender. Then for concealer I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, I was made up to finally get my hands on this concealer and it is the best one I've ever tried in my life. So I'm just putting that in all the usual spots, the underneath of the eyes, between, between the eyebrows, the chin and then I'm just running a bit underneath my jawline and then again just bouncing that in using my Beauty Blender.
then just for all those hard to, harder to reach areas I'm going to go in with this small duo fibre brush just so I don't ruin the blend or mess up my eyebrows or anything like that. Next I'm just going to take this YSL Sunkissed Blair Perfecting Powder which is this lovely sort of cream to powder bronzer so I'm just using my Real Techniques Duo Fibre Contour Brush I'm just adding a bit of warmth to my face, bronzing up my face a little bit through the cheekbones, up the forehead and along the jawline And I'm just blading away any edges going over with my beauty blender to make sure it all is all seamless. The next I'm going in with my iconic London liquid illuminator drops in the shade Shine. Just look at that highlight. Just dabbing that in all the regular areas, so the cheekbones, the cupid's bow, the tip of the nose, and then just a touch down the bridge of the nose as well. And I just decided to add a little bit on my forehead because you can never be too glowy. So I'm just going to set everything in place using the RCMA No Colour Powder just on this Peaches and Cream brush. Next I'm going to go in with my Kiko Milano Baked Bronzer and just bronze up my face a little bit more. So just going over it everywhere I use the YSL Sunkissed Blair Perfector. And then just to add a touch of contour I'm taking my skin, Mineralized Skin Finish again in dark and just deepening up that bronzer just ever so slightly using this Zoeva Cheek Finish Brush. And then for highlights, I'm going to go back in with my MUA Undress Your Skin Shimmer in Iridescent Gold again. Just look at that highlight for just £3. It's just amazing. I'll never get over it. So just going over it everywhere. The cheekbones, the cupid's bow, tip of the nose. And then for lips, I'm going to take my Kiko Milano Smart Fusion Lip Pencil in number 511 this gorgeous corally shade and then for lipstick I'm going to take this bourgeois rouge velvet lipstick in the number 07 it does have a name but it's in French and I'm not even going to attempt to try and pronounce that so you just get a number seven okay so that's the finished look i hope you all enjoyed this video and enjoyed seeing how the palette worked and things like that how it blends how the colors are so if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe if you want to see more from me and also don't forget to click on the little bell icon so you never miss an upload from me hope to see you again soon bye